Hey, good morning, everyone. How are you? I pray and I hope that everyone is doing well. I pray that this word that I'm about to bring to you will be a blessing to you all. Um, just want to share very briefly that the word, this word was dropping my spirit yesterday. And I was going to make a video, but uh, the Lord stopped me. And this morning he confirmed this word and I was able to um, meditate more about it and um, God is good I tell you God is good the Lord is good I pray that this word will be a blessing to you all and um, and I pray that also this word will minister to your hearts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ amen today I want to bring the word from the book of Daniel Daniel chapter 1 um, in the chapter uh, we can see in chapter 1 uh, verse 6 and 7 I'm going to read it um, amen I'm, I got my notes here because there was so much to it and I don't want to miss the, uh, the, the, the important points that I want to make so I'm going to read chapter 1, and the word of the Lord says, 1, 6, and 7. Now from among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Elzire. And chapter in verse 7 said, To them the chief of eunuchs gave name. He gave Daniel the name Belteshazzar. To Hananiah, Shadrach. To Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Azariah, excuse me, Abednego. Amen. And yesterday while I was in my walk, I will, I will, I'm going to start with this. During my walk and exercises, the Holy Spirit dropped this word in my spirit. And the word was, do not let do not lose your identity in Christ. Don't lose your identity in Christ. Amen. And I was meditating on that word. And the more I meditated, the more I thought, I was like, you know what? This is a good area to just um, keep focus, guard with all of our hearts, be mindful of, and walk with wisdom. Walk with wisdom. Let me say, God has given each and every one of us an anointing for a specific plan and a specific missions and purpose. Keep that in mind. Let me repeat it. God has given each and every one of us an anointing for a specific work of ministry, a specific assigns, and a specific uh, um purpose purpose we have to recognize these things in each and every one of us as believer each one has a mission for the lord to do down here on the earth we cannot allow and cannot allow anybody anybody change us from what god has called us to do god has given each and every one of us an identity, an anointing, and a calling. Sometimes, and I'm going to be bold about this because I have seen it, I experienced this myself. Sometimes, these anointings and these callings are threatened to those who are walking on the flesh, those who cannot recognize and cannot perceive the callings and the anointing that God has deposited in your life. And it can, it can be very threatened to those who are not discerning. And they can see only through the flesh. And um, sometimes people try to change us into what is suitable to them. Into what is comfortable to them into what they can understand and they can um, uh, familiar, fami familiarize 
it into what is familiar to them. But in fact, God has given us that anointing and that identity for Him. The Bible says that we are, not, we are to be imitators of Christ Jesus and not of men. Amen. People want to lock you up into what soothes them. They want to change you into on their own opinion. Into what the thing, this is the way it should be done. Wrong. No. The Bible also told us in the book of Romans chapter 8. That those who are led of the spirit. Hear me well. Those who are led of the spirits are sons of God. And we have to be led by the spirit and the spirit alone. Not for what people's opinions, what they think you should do, or what they think this should be done. You go according to what the Spirit of the Lord is telling you to do. Sometimes we try to uh, um, please people, especially those who are people pleasers, tend to fall into this category. And forget who they are in Christ Jesus. And end up having all kinds of issues, emotional issues. Because they're not grounded in the word, rooted in Christ. If you know who you are in Christ Jesus. If you understand your callings and your purposes in God. You cannot let nobody change your identity of who you are and what God called you to do for Him. It doesn't matter what people's opinion, what they think you should be doing. Make sure you are led of the Spirit. Amen. I can identify that kind of behavior with a rebellion spirit. With a rebellious spirit. Because they're not acknowledging, they're not recognizing the Christ in you. It's an antichrist spirit. They cannot see God's calling and God's purpose and God's anointing in your life. And they want to mold you and they want to change you into what they think you should be. Wrong. Wrong. Not so. Not so. Notice here in Daniel chapter 6, chapter 1, excuse me, verse 6 and 7. How they change their name. Those names were not the original names. They were not God-given names to them. And they try to change their identity. Praise God, they knew who they were in Christ. They knew their God. Even though they tried to change their identity and change their name, they tried to rename them. They kept their faithfulness to their God. Amen. Nobody has the right to change you, who you are in Christ Jesus, but God. Don't give them that power to change you, to rename you because of the way of their opinions of you. You are who you are in Christ Jesus. You were made with a plan and a purpose. You have a mission designed especially for you and you alone with your name. Amen. Your identity and your callings are direct, directly from God. Anyone cannot recognize and anyone cannot see and anyone cannot understand your anointing. Keep moving. Keep moving. Stay focused on your callings and your, and your purposes. Guard your anointing. Guard it with all diligently. Guard it. You are called by God. You are receptive by the beloved. 
Do not mold into the things of this world, into what people think you should be. You already know who you are in Christ. Stay strong, stay focused, and guard your anointing and your calling. You are a child of God. Amen. So today, I wanted to drop this word to you because it was dropping my spirit yesterday. And I felt that this was a word, a prophetic word that somebody needs to hear out there. Somebody needs to do to hear this. Find your identity in Christ Jesus and Him alone. Your identity is not on people. Don't stop being yourself to please anybody. But learn who you are in Christ. Amen. God loves you. You are uh, precious to God. And the Bible says that God has plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. Amen. God bless you. I love you. And I talk to you soon. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.